safety camera video but I started with that one well I finished that one and then I started doing this one and halfway through I decided I'd make a video in case somebody else wants to do it because I saw lots of misinformation on the internet on how to sort of re-grease um, this joystick so let's just get this camera set up that should be good and then I need a weight on this side the keyboard should do it that's perfect okay um, so basically you start with this cover on the back it's got six screws one two three four and then five six is underneath this velcro okay so that comes off easy then what then there's four screws one two three four but this thing has a spring underneath so while you're unscrewing these screws put your finger in the middle and hold down quite firmly so that this doesn't pop off or crack or break wires when the spring finally gives um, when you remove this you want to be careful of these wires on the side here and these wires on this side that you don't hook them and break them and also this wire here is over the top when you start you want to pull that off the one side and as you pull this up slowly you'll feed these wires through to avoid uh, because they go straight to the stick then the part you want to grease many people think let me just get under here that you want to put your grease here that is necessary but that's not the main place this is the most important part over here I'll show you now you see here when you it's going to be a bit difficult to see but when you move your stick it actually presses against this ring over here this ring and the friction occurs on the inside here on this lip where it pushes against the stick there so you want to push a whole bunch of grease in this corner here and also on this rim around here and then while you add it you can lift your stick up from the bottom now and then it's easy to apply grease to that ball there and then put it back grease here here and on the inside and you put this back and you must make sure your trigger is facing the right way because you see these I'm not sure which way it is now trigger must be let's have a look okay trigger is now facing forward and you'll see this and damn it you see these two these two little things here on the inside of this they will line up with that and that so you have to make sure this is the right way the easiest to remember is this square where the wires come through must be on the same side as where the wires exit the joystick when the, when the trigger is facing forward what I also do is I put grease on these two pieces and that makes it because that's where the joystick presses against in those two little u-shaped slots um, putting it I'm not going to put it back together now because I still need to grease this but putting it back together you want to make sure there's no wires stuck in the spring you want to pull everything out the way um, and then what you do is you put this back and as you do it you slowly pull these wires back through so that they don't land up being bunched up in there with the spring because that would be bad and then making sure those u-shaped um, brackets I showed you line up with the joystick so make sure it's centered and you'll want to make sure these wires on the side here 
over here are out the way because you don't want to pitch them same on this side here so it's a bit difficult but not too difficult okay mm -hmm. here we go just feel your stick that the rudder is working there's not turning the whole stick left and right there we go just went into position hold it down in the middle and put your four screws back once you're done I just want to show you something extra here this little red wire this one right next to the switch if you cut that the lead light stops working which I think is a major pro which I might just go and do it right now there we go and that sorts that out and I just thought I'd share that with you I just unplug this here just makes it easier to work with there we go hope that helps oh the orientation might be wrong because I've got auto rotate on my phone so hopefully you can live with that extra information I see lots of people recommending s oils and baby powder and all this other rubbish which makes me cringe to the core I would only use silicon based product and definitely not an oil a paste or a grease um, it doesn't drip and run anywhere and if you take the thing apart properly you don't need oil to sort of run in this ball here um, if you do it properly then you can apply the grease wire right where it needs to go and it doesn't run off um, again it has to be silicon based so that it doesn't um, destroy the plastic this is plastic and rubber safe um, another thing once you've taken um, the joystick apart and put it back together it won't be calibrated properly all you need to do you'll, you'll, if you left the LED light connected you'll see the lights always on all you do is unplug the USB plug it back in it recalibrates and it's perfect um, yeah no that's it Guys, this is going to be a very bad quality camera video, but I started with that one, well I finished that one and then I started doing this one and halfway through I decided I'd make a video in case somebody else wants to do it because I saw lots of misinformation on the internet on how to sort of re-grease um, this joystick. So let's just get this camera set up. That should be good and then I need a weight on this side the keyboard should do it that's perfect okay um, so basically